All right, all right, ladies, gentlemen, citizens of the Empire, welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2. We're down here in Rhodes, and we have a, uh, a debt to collect before we do anything else. Where are you, Gwen? Or Gwynnid or some some such, whatever the hell your name is. Back here. Don't look quite right. Gwen Hughes. Start picking out a box for yourself if you don't got that money, you owe Leopold Strauss. I I don't I, I need more time. Doesn't everybody? That casket for you? Or you want another? Wait, 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 wait. I, I can get it for you. But, um, uh, well, uh, come with me to the churchyard. Okay. And stay close. Hmm? Keep moving. All right. Oh, this ain't right. I, I mean, I I'll get you your money, but, uh, but oh, well you'll see what ain't right is borrowing money you can't pay back i, I guess i guess i guess you, you're correct but uh this it, it ain't exactly right what we're doing what are we doing you ain't the first to put his hand in the collection box and you won't be the last rest a little easier knowing church has been taking more than they need off poor folks since time began he's right about that like i said well the morality of the matter is a little more confusing than that. Okay. <sighs> okay. You head on in the church, I'll keep watch. Well, it ain't in there. It's under here. I'm digging up Mrs. Claypole. Oh, shit. Jesus. Well, she got a bunch of jewels in there that she don't need. How'd you know she was buried with him in the first place? Oh, damn it. I'll take it. There's a bunch of people here. Oh, yeah, just I two. Got I got it. Look, you clear them off, and I'll wait right around here. But don't hurt nobody. We don't want no fuss. Don't be shy. Ain't no one around. You two might want to find somewhere a little more private. We was fine until you got here, mister. Good day now. Shut up and move. Get out of here, kids. Move! Come on. I knew we shouldn't have been here. You missed your chance, boy! <laughs> oh, my God. Hello, madam. Ma'am, would you mind clearing out of here for some uh, maintenance work? Oh, gladly. It's about time this place got cleaned up. All right, Gwen. Get to digging. It's all clear. All right. Now go watch the gate. I'll get to this, uh, exhumation. Did the older lady leave? She got a, oh, there she is. Sorry, ma'am. Go right on ahead. Excuse me. Uh, I'm sorry, ma'am. The church grounds are closed for maintenance work. Well, it's about time, too. The place was in need of some care and attention. Well, glad we can get it done for you. Do I need to turn away a dog? <laughs> Do I need him to tell him to turn around? Find the stick and play fetch? Oh, it's that dog over there. Hello, gentlemen. I'm gonna need you to clear off. Hey, look, we're closed for some uh, 
excavation work. Would you mind? No, I ain't gonna mind you at all. You carry on with your business, we'll carry on with ours. This filler. Oh, damn choir boy. Get the hell out of this churchyard. Are you boys gonna need yourselves a preacher? You hear this filler? I heard him all right. Don't! Shit! Uh. You and uh, You gonna... Uh. There we go. Wait, nope. Let me pick up my pistol. There we go. Jesus Christ. You got it? All right, well, here's your payment. Oh, freaking me, Mrs. Claypole. What you find? Well, she had a brooch here. Looks like diamonds. Well, I'll give it here. Wait, did I... Give me the brooch. Oh, uh, this will do. Now get out of here. Let's see. Yep. It's come to it, all right. Oh my god, I can't believe the body actually, like, shows up as an X over there. Like I just killed her or something. My horse ain't been down here but a couple of minutes and it already looks like it changed colors. Alright Dutch, what you up to down here? Of course, of course. Oh, and here is my dear friend, Arthur Callahan. Boy is a hunter. Boy is a killer. Arthur, you've met but not been introduced to Mr. Oh. I'm so sorry. Sheriff! Well, how are you doing, sir? I'm fine. Tough business you boys had. We did? Well, there's no need to pretend with me, sir. Life can be tough. So it can. And no man owes another anything. No, sir. But still, I feel you were hard done by. Losing your employment like that. But still, here in Rhodes, we have work enough for honest men. Oh, that's some strong stuff. Still, don't seem to be doing you any harm, I guess. Exactly. Whoa. Excuse me a moment. I told you we was moving up in this world. Deputies. You have finally <laughs> lost your mind. Amongst these drunkards, hillbillies, and slavers? Good honest thieves like us. We're bound to be moralizers in a place like this. Oh, Sheriff Gray, you are back. Now listen, sir. There is shine in them woods, though. And it is cost in this county its good name. And the state a whole lot of income. You boys wouldn't mind rooting it out. Maybe we'll make you permanent. I gotta set me down a second. Not a problem, sir. Not a problem at all. You are in safe hands now. And people waste time with the temperance movement. Liquor never dulled a good man's senses. Arthur, you ride with the deputy. Bill Got and it. I will follow. God, he was Why so fucking up? drunk. It, sauced is is an understatement. How are you? Pretty good. And your friend is behaving himself? Oh, <laughs> yes. I think he's learned his lesson. Congratulations on becoming a temporarily deputized citizen of Scarlet Meadows County. Most towns just get bounty hunters to do their dirty work these days, but Sheriff Gray believes the law should keep the law. Now, I'm sure I don't need to remind you there's a chain of command here. There is? Dang straight there is. 
This is a dangerous <laughs> business, but follow my lead and you'll be just fine. Sure. Sure. Hey, Archibald wants to remind us he's in charge here. Of course. Who else would be? But you were a big help with them Anderson boys, and I put in a very good word with the sheriff on your behalf. Thank we you. We appreciate that. We rounded up the others soon after. I'm pushing for the rope myself, but that's by the by. So, these moonshiners. Not just any moonshiners. Braithwaite's. I told you about the Braithwaite's. Pretty sure you did. Old Cotton family had a fortune at one point until, well, a few changes in the labor laws. Now they're dealing in moonshine. We found their stills hidden all over Lemoyne. So they were slaves. We destroy one, another one pops up. You could call it a pitiful fall from grace, if they had any grace to start with. I have no time for tax dodgers. Not to mention the fact that Catherine Braithwaite has a rather expensive interest in thoroughbred horses to maintain. But I heard something about it being gold these families were fighting over. Well, that's the rumor. But the Greys and the Braithwaites think the others stole a fortune from them. But it happened so long ago, I don't know for sure if it's true. Must be tough being rich, huh? <laughs> <laughs> so I imagine. That badge rather suits you, Mr. W. Yes. I thought so, too. Does it feel good to be back at it, serving your country? I wouldn't go that far. Whoa! Whoa! Hold up! You see that wagon? Let's take a look. These damn flies! I swear they got it in for me. You could try washing once in a while. Oof! Jesus. Come on, mister! Keep your eyes open. Hold on, let me grab my guns. Maybe not. Never mind. <laughs> oh, this must have happened recently. Hey, come have a look at this. What'd you find? Deputy, get over here, please. I'm right here. Look. Suit and tie, one bullet clean through the forehead. Well, my money says this is the handiwork of a gang called the Lemoyne Raiders. Yeah, I've run into them. Let's see if we've got any identification. Okay. We should get going. I'll send someone over here later to clean this up. All right. Let's get out, out of here and see if we can find them. Oh, no, no, get back on the wagon. Back. Can I? Why well, can't? Get on the wagon. There you go. Would you mind taking the reins? I want to have a look at these papers. Sure. sure. I'll direct you. Okay. Frederick Mitchell. Lemoyne State Legislator. Poor feller. Yes, this certainly smacks of the Raiders to me. Bunch of ex-army free staters without an ounce of respect for the law. That's seven government officials they've murdered this year alone. Seven? Yep. Jesus. Uh, nicest fellers in my experience. Go right at the crossroads. Oh, and I know the Braithwaites are in business with them. No shame. Trash yeah, roof? Gets trash, my Uncle Reginald used to say. They're right again here. He had a few stories, let me tell you. Town preacher and town sheriff. A drink a sailor under the table before breakfast. He had one tiny hand, like a child's, on the end of a grown man's arm. But anyway, this tells you what kind of people the Braithwaites are. Selling moonshine to murderers. I tell folks don't even speak to him. Don't even look him in the eye. I'm sure I wouldn't. Here we are. So what was I saying? Something about the Braithwaite, I think. 
Saying that word makes me sick. Yeah, it's not that serious there, buddy. Oh my god! I didn't mean to actually shoot. I thought I was just aiming. <laughs> okay, from the top. Now, anyone we find here, we bring in alive. Understood? Round them up and take this operation down for good. Come on. That's what I was trying to do. Bring them in, I can tie them up. See? See? What did I tell you, boys? What did I say? I said this place was crawling with vermin, and we just found ourselves the rat's nest par excellence, as they say in Paris. My aunt, she went to Paris back in 78. How handle this? Well, the way I said Actually, it. let my friend here decide. He doesn't have your fine way with words but he is definitely the man for the job <laughs> let's split up arthur and bill me and archibald you boys want right or left we'll take the right let's stop these filthy degenerate tax dodgers the remember what he said we need them alive Let's just knock them out and then tie them up. Got it. Yep. Deputy Williamson. Get the rider. Don't round there. him up later. Get the other one. Please tell me he's about to piss behind the tree. Or he's gonna like stand there and smoke a cigarette, that's fine. Damn word. Anthony. My turn. All right, go get him. Hey, where'd he go? Oh. This one is still very much right. awake. Let's gather them up. You boys did some work over here. God, okay. I think that's it. Well, what do we do now? We better looking at? destroy all this. Any of your boys can handle explosives? Sure. Anyone but him. So, tell me about the... <laughs> that is the last time I'll mention it, I swear. Yeah, I'm sure. Yeah, probably won't be the last time. <laughs> Uh-oh. Hey! That belongs to the Lamorne Raiders, you sons of bitches! 
Yeah, I knew it should have been a firefight coming. Some blew up. Give me a hand with these bastards. Jesus, what is this, a war zone? Cover me, Bill. That's not the last of them. Oh, shit. Get. Nope, not that, you fool. Where is he? Pop out. Andiamo, bastardo! Oh no, there's still one more shit. I don't see any more. Do you? No, I think no. we're good. Let's find Dutch and get out of here. Fine by me. I, I can't. Wait, shit. Loot him. Thank you. Come on, Arthur. I'd rather not be here when they're Shut up, Bill. We can kill him if we have to. I just want to make a little extra money. How does it feel being a fine upholder of the law? Oh. Not that different to our normal lives so far. Who were those fellers? Not sure. Probably the people they were selling to. Guess we can't ask him now. And I thought I was protective over my liquor. <laughs> I mean, you are kind of an alcoholic, Bill. Or at least you're sloppy like one. Well done! <laughs> Well, forgive me, but me and my men must return to our lives. Ah, seems like we failed to destroy the last of the moonshine. Sure. Would you like us to? Well, I normally take it. For personal consumption, it's sort of part of the job. But I better get back home. Why don't I just take a jug or two and leave you boys the rest to show that there's no hard feelings on account of the war? We are all Americans. Of course. My cousin, Webster, he used to say some of us is not as American as others, if you know what I mean. Only I didn't, quite. Come on, you degenerate, no good, white trash, hillbilly piece of scum. I know you, Billy Lime. Finally. You've always been a Finally. piece of crap. Come on, move it. We have a life move on a land so stupid, a backwater so backwards that even we are like geniuses. <laughs> Bill, get this stuff out of here. Come on, you ride with me. Okay. Sounds good. Should I stash this somewhere near camp, boss? Yes, show it to Hosea. I'm sure he can find a use for it. <laughs> Bit of trouble back there, Arthur? <laughs> Ain't there always? From what they was yelling, I think they were the buyers. Old Archibald didn't ask too many questions, so neither should we. I ain't planning to. That wasn't worth the, the effort, though. Is that a turtle? Deputized and hiding in plain sight. These lawmen, these two families. I mean, I really think we can play this from all sides. It's got Hosea written all over it. This yeah. is starting to sound like the young Dutch again. What do you mean, young Dutch? I'm as strong as I have ever been. Hey. Oh, shit. You know what? 
Why don't I race you back? You sure? Okay, you're on. That's the spirit. Okay, on my word. Set, go! Come on, old man! <laughs> Already far ahead. Said from my dust. Come on, boy. The only thing is, I gotta hope my thumb doesn't get tired. This is a little twisty, a little turny. How you doing, boy? Doing pretty good, boy. Look at him, all the way in the back like that. Can't even hear him if I wanted to. Even if he was saying something. I was about to run into a fucking deer. Go. Still trying to catch up back there, Dutch? so much <laughs> well time is a bastard when you get to be my age well you'll know that better than anything be well i had fun with you today you're i was gonna say you're like a son to me but you're more than that well that was quite fun Hold on, what were the details for that? How do, I, how do I get gold? Mission without taking any damage. Did I get shot? Did I get hit? Ten headshots? Okay. I don't remember getting hit. Who's that? I gotta... Oh, hold on. Hold on now. Uh, who is that that I gotta give something to? Is that... Charles? Because I remember we have the moonshine that he wanted, and somebody else wants some, or is this Sadie? Because she wanted a harmonica, and we never got a chance to give it to her. Hey, Charles. All seems quiet, Charles. Hardest worker in camp. Someone's got to do it. Well, don't let me disturb you. Thanks, Arthur. I can't give the request to him, not proud because he's on duty. Makes sense. Can't I run? There we go. That's better. Lenny, you also on guard duty? Kieran wants to fish. I kind of had enough of fishing. Hey, Sadie. You got a, you got guns too, huh? Here. I got a hold of a harmonica for you. Look forward to hearing you play. The only audience I ever had was my husband. And... I'm gonna keep it that way. All right. Fair enough. But thank you, Arthur. This is real kind of you. You're quite a woman. Thank you. Quiet. You can make a fella real happy. Oh dear God, is that Micah being creepy?
Jesus Christ, man. That idiot. About as charming as a slug. You let me know if it gives you any more hash. All right, well, I should be getting on. Yeah, goodbye. All right. Grab some lunch. Or what time is it? Dinner? Dinner, maybe? Yeah, dinner. <laughs> hey, it's pretty close to the time I eat dinner. Let's see what Molly wants. Oh wait, no, I wanted to give those debts to the camp first. It's too bad you can't really run in camp. Cause see, like tw <laughs> 20 minutes has gone by since I last checked the end game time. Give all debts. Ledger. Next page. And screw it. Let's do it for everybody. Keep it that way. Thanks. We're gonna eat just five. I got a score. Got oh God, Mike is over there hey, boasting Joe. about some shit again. What do you think? What do you mean? About those two families, the rich ones in the big houses. I don't know. Go have a look around. See what you can find out. Calmly, I mean. Of, of course. Sure. Dutch and I, we both think there's money to be made. I hope so. <laughs> I'll see what I can find out. Did I ever give Pearson those fish? Some good. I haven't received anything from you in a while, Mr. Morgan. Yeah, I hear you. Some you think are good turn out to be bad. Very good. We were getting low. Many thanks, Mr. Morgan. Okay. Karen likes a man in uniform way I hear it. <laughs> hey, he shut up, Uncle. Hope you're behaving yourself. Alright, let's uh let's take a good old nap. And we'll go see what there Molly he needs. Is. The man who saved my hide not once, but twice. What you want, Micah? Nothing. Just saying thank you, brother. I can't call you brother, can't I? I think I like you even less when you're friendly. You're the first person ever told me that. <laughs> I mm. doubt it. God damn, he gets under my skin. I hate him so much. Oh. Okay. Is Charles on? Charles is still on guard duty. How long has he been awake? Uh oh, Jack found a dog.
That's so great. Hey, boy. Hey, boy. Aww. What should we call him? Well, he's a wanderer. He probably did something bad. <laughs> Cain. His name is Cain. Okay. Hey, Cain. <laughs> well, <laughs> what did Cain do? A real bad thing. So he never stopped wandering. A dog! A dog! Yeah! Cute. Okay. Morning, dude. Good morning, Arthur. You sound Looks chipper. Like a good book there. Very enjoyable. Well, I'll leave you to it. All right, then. Let's go talk to Molly. Hello. Why don't you sit, Arthur? You know, too many folk around here take you for granted. Well, that's nice of you to say. Our own cook. That's fine, living. Lenny. Morning, Arthur. Hey, Arthur. Can, can I have a quick word? Sure. What's up, lady? Yes, Miss O'Shea. Ah, call me Molly, would you? Oh. Arthur, how is Dutch? I mean, how does he seem to you? I'm about the same as usual, I guess. I, I really love him, you know. But if he... Like he always says, loyalty is everything, so... Arthur! Excuse me, Miss O'Shea. What you want? I bring a gift. The great gift of information. So you got some tip off. So now I can yeah. risk my neck and make you some money while you lounge around. You know, Arthur, bitterness, it, it works on the inside as well as on your sour face. If you say so. But you could go find some other fool to run your errands. Bill, come on over here. Will you be my other fool? You too, Charles. What are you? Talking about. Arthur's above a little stick up I heard about. No, I'm not. You just said hey, I'll do it. As long as you ride with us. <laughs> well, I got a serious medical condition. <laughs> yes. You are a compulsive liar. No need to be like that. Charles, have I ever lied to you? I hardly know you. Exactly. <laughs> now, you boys should do this. It, it's easy, and I'll only take a small commission for my information. But it's now or never. Then it's never. Oh, God help me. Fine, I'll do it. <laughs> well, what is it? It's a supply wagon carrying payroll, but very briefly unguarded, apparently. As it passes through a crossroads near here where there's an old ruined church, before it connects with the rest of the wagon train. Very easy picking. As long as we get paid or you get shot, I'm happy. You are a sick man, Arthur Morgan. A very sick man indeed. Oh Come my on god. Then, you miserable bastards. I think what made it funnier is that Charles had a straight face the entire time. Like, I hardly you know you. Five minutes. <laughs> well, wow, you boys been off fishing or playing lawman or whatever the hell you've been doing. I've been getting down to business. <laughs> Finding the nearest drug house. <laughs> you don't want in on this, Williamson. That's fine by me. Do us all a favor. Head home. Just give it a rest, you two. Just have a little faith for once, will you? I've been scoping jobs like this since you fellers were knee-high to a grasshopper. Once a decade, maybe. So what is it you scoped here exactly? No. Go on ahead, tell well, us. I told you. There's a wagon with a lockbox passes through every week. Easy. Okay, hold up here. We should cover our faces. Oh, they'll be passing through the crossroads up ahead. When? Soon, Williamson. Christ's sakes. This close to camp? I should be due any time now. Let's keep this quiet and clean. Nobody needs to die here. There! You see, gentlemen? <laughs> Just like clockwork. 
I don't know if I just got added some money or subtracted some. But I, I, I just got money apparently for something. Stop the wagon! I said, stop the damn wagon! Whoa! Now, don't try anything stupid, and we won't do anything unkind. You know, boys, I, I don't, I don't want to get shot, but this is a mistake. <coughs> I work for Cornwall Kerosene and Tar. God Mr. damn it! Mr. Leviticus Cornwall. Oh, great. So you know him? <laughs> he doesn't. I hear he's rich enough to share the wealth around and not miss it too much. Oh, he'll miss it. Okay, why don't you check out around the back? <coughs> Arthur, help me out here. Oh, what the fuck? Right. Let's search this chest. Okay, we're looking good. Must be nearing a thousand here. Shit! Hey! I think I see something! Oh, great. Let's go! Arthur, let's go! Yeah! Time to get going. <laughs> Didn't mean to kill the horse. We lost him. They will. Come on. You can move fast when you have to, can't you? Just shut up, Williams. Quick! Get off the trail. Into the woods. Let's shake him and get back to camp. No, we need to find a place to lie low. We can't risk leading Cornwall's men to camp. All right. Yeah, he's definitely got it in oh. for us. But let, let's hide in here. Quick! Get out of here. Easy. Get out of here. Go on. I'll see you later. All right. Let's get out of sight. Stay until dark, and then we'll sneak out of here. Charles, you keep watch for now. Sure. Well, we, uh, get some rest. Try and get out of here. Hey, shit. Absolutely. Well, shut up, old man. Well, look, I was just trying to. Shut up. There's a light over by the house. Damn. Get out here. Get out here. Let's just keep this calm. See what happens. Is this your place? Kinda. Uh, and you didn't hear nothing? What do you mean, kinda? I... Why don't you just tell me, partner, what you heard? I... I tell me what you heard. I don't... Maybe I, I heard some noises out by the barn a while ago. It ain't me. It better not be. All right. Coop forth. Low. Go check out the... the barn. Sir. <clears throat>
can't turn the check on everybody else, okay? Here they come. Well, the place looks deserted enough. Sure. You head inside, I'll go around the back. Place looks empty to me. Now, the old guy up there is full of crap. I don't think they're here. Don't see any horses. Come on, let's head back. Boss! Place is empty! Shit! Oh shit! Get in hell, boys! Get your last guy ah. round up! Watch it, Charles! We got more of the bastards on this side. Which side? Where you at? More on the right here. Oh, damn it. This fella really don't like it raw. Let's just hope we don't run out of bullets. Nicely done, Bill. They teach you that move in the army too. If you keep your back feet still for ten goddamn seconds, you got us into this. There's a goddamn horde of them on the left here. How did you not know? Who the hell gave you the tip? Hold them back! Do not let them close in on us! Watch out! That was close, Morgan! I've got this, Uncle. Don't worry, fellas! No goddamn way! Why? You got another surefire plan for us, Uncle? Ain't you glad now I insisted you come along? Oh, it's dead. Okay, I got him. Officially retired. Shit! Fire! Everyone still breathing? I so far. You would. Doing his research is like an anti vaxxer doing the research. Oh, shit! Ah. Hey, this whole place is Turn around. Did you see anything? Not yet. God 
damn it, Uncle! You shot one! We're clear. We all still alive? Yeah. Just about. Yeah, I'll deal with you later. We got some money, didn't we? Sure, but now we got corn on our backs. It was an down. honest mistake. I had to leave it, Quonk. Get out of here. Every man split up, Quonk. Run quick. Good luck, Jens. Stay quiet and move. God damn, Uncle. Okay, where are we headed? Back to camp, we can go back to camp, yeah. Give me the opportunity to do a little hunting. Bring back some food for everybody. Oh shit. Shit, 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 shit. Move, 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 move. Oh, shit, they're actually coming for me. Like, they know where I am. Close, real close. Please, whoa. Hey, Crucifix, how you doing, man? Yeah. Yeah, definitely. I'm all right. I'd be better if Uncle didn't get us into the middle of a giant shootout Who goes by there? a barn. It's Arthur. Say he left a reward for you at ten. Okay. Hitch the horse. Remove the deer. And we're gonna just drop. We're gonna go to bed. <laughs> Cause dear lord. Was that something?
sleep morning. for this right now. Oh, it's written all over you. I'm not stupid. I've been watching. Oh, that much is painfully clear. You're playing a dangerous game. Will you be quiet? I am trying to read here. Pig! I'm just gonna go this way. I'm gonna go this way and return in a moment so we can go uh <laughs> see what Lenny wants with us uh that, that's not the greatest thing to wake up to just two people having a vicious fight nope but uh thanks so much for joining me i'll be back in a moment if you're on youtube please like comment subscribe on twitch drop me a follow if you haven't already and i will be back in a sec <laughs>